guys, it's the start of week two, day eight, um, and everything is going swimmingly. I don't know about you, although I do feel like a lot of people can probably identify with this feeling, but after, like, any holiday, the day after, you're like, well, it's time to turn my life around. <laughs> Usually because we eat a lot of crap on holidays, and then the next day we're, like, feeling it. <laughs> So it's not very like aesthetic or pretty, but I'm having some of the leftover salad from yesterday from Easter. And I also had a couple of the same coconut date rolls that I showed on one of the Easter platters. And I wanted to bring out, that's another reason I wanted to do this whole thing as like a what I eat in a week, because I do eat somewhat repetitively and I know that would be boring if I was releasing video after video of me eating the same stuff. But hopefully, like, week through week, I change it up so it has more variation and you get more raw food ideas. Hey guys, today I'm feeling like doing an all fruit or mostly fruit day. I'm not feeling as good as I usually do today in particular. Not sure why, I feel pretty dehydrated though, so I think that I'm just gonna be drinking a lot of water and tea and eating a lot of high water content fruit. So I'm starting off with a bowl of cut up watermelon. This is about half of one of those really small watermelons and depending on how I feel, I'll just cut up the other half afterwards. You like it? Um, it's day 11 and 
I'm just really thirsty today. <laughs> so I made my breakfast, which would have been like a pineapple just cut up. I blended the whole thing so I could drink it. And now I am on like my 80th glass of water with like a tablespoon of apple juice mixed into it, which is cool. And I don't know what I'm gonna have for lunch. I'm guessing something drinkable, but I watched, I don't wanna exaggerate, 10, thousand fully rocker scene recipe videos so i'm going to make something noodly tonight i already started some meat balls that are inspired by like the ikea veggie balls which i could easily eat a bag of those by myself some of my favorite things on this planet and they're actually not that bad for you pretty clean ingredients aside from the oil so i just took what i could out of that that's raw or that i had access to because like one of the main ingredients of those is chickpeas and I don't have like sprouted raw chickpeas available to me right now so I just instead used uh, zucchini and mushrooms. So we're going to see how those turn out. I also wanted to talk about, you saw that there were peas and corn in there that were frozen. Now I looked it up, both of those products can be raw, it just depends on how they got from the farm to the shelf. Some companies will just flash freeze them, some will steam them first and then freeze them. So it's just a gamble, you know, and if it's worth it to you, don't buy frozen veggies. Um, but like I said before, I don't believe that cooked foods are toxic or anything, so I'm not super worried about the fact that they may or may not have been steamed at one point. Yesterday, I went a little crazy on my face. I just got super irritated with it. And I used to have this problem really bad, um, dermatillomania, like skin picking. Yesterday, I did that to my face, like pretty hardcore for like an hour. And then I put like one of those black masks on it and I exfoliated it and I did all sorts of super mean things to my face and it's still red and angry at me, which I get. But the upside is, is it's a lot flatter and believe it or not, less irritated than it was yesterday. say it's day 12 and I just blended up another pineapple it's in this bottle and this bottle and I'm just getting work done right now right now I have that same like chocolate shake from the other day being kind of lazy with my food just kind of chucking stuff in a blender today because I'm just working I'm getting a lot of illustration work done and I don't have time, I guess. Or I just don't feel like it. That's probably more accurate. Hi, today was a oddly hectic day for me. I don't wanna say hectic, that's the wrong word because I literally put on different pajamas to wear for the rest of the day. It was one of those days. And I just did work all day. I got a couple of commissions. Um, I'm a freelance illustrator if you don't know, but um, that's one of my eight jobs. <laughs> I was working on illustrations all day and then every couple hours I was like, oh, gotta go make food and I would just throw stuff into a blender or grab something easy like dates or like that pumpkin seed bar that actually I only ended up eating half of. So it doesn't sound weird. It was too pumpkin seedy. For me <laughs> so yeah all my recipes were super lazy and then when it came dinner time this happens sometimes i'll be in a total work vortex in my own world and i won't realize or six seven eight o'clock rolls around and um usually i for a long time was cooking dinner for the rest of my family so all seven people and i just haven't been doing that uh that often these past couple weeks um 
So someone else will be making dinner, usually my dad. Always my dad, I don't know why I said usually. <laughs> he didn't, he like doesn't tell me that he starts making dinner. So he'll text me and he'll be like, dinner's ready. I'm like, crap, I didn't make anything for me. You know, that's raw. So uh, for dinner tonight that happened and I rolled out at like seven o'clock and everyone was already starting to eat. And I was like on an episode of Chopped, like throwing together a salad as fast as humanly possible. And I just made that same salad with like kale, apple, walnuts, raisins, and almond butter as the dressing. And it's the quickest thing I know how to make. And I did realize that all the recipes I had today were things that I have had before already. And I'm sorry about that, but as I said, I do eat kind of repetitively. So I'm going to try to switch it up and make new things. I thought that the spaghetti yesterday was a big hit and I actually wanted to make pizza sometime this week. I don't like to line dehydrator uh, recipes up too close together so I guess I wouldn't really have wanted to make it today even if I had thought about making it earlier because it takes like 12 hours. But I will try to make that in the near future to at least give you some sort of new recipe. Okay, I think I've blabbered all I need to blabber tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow where I will actually be going out to eat so I can show you how to eat raw outside of your house. Hmm. Hey guys, just wanted to give some thoughts on today because I didn't get a whole lot of time to talk or document what I was doing. Um, we went to the movies today and for a movie snack as a raw vegan, a good thing is dried fruit. So I had dried persimmons. And then for lunch, as I said, we went out to eat and I went to Sweet Tomatoes or Soup Plantation, which is honestly like, if, if you can't find a raw vegan restaurant, that's like the ideal raw vegan restaurant. Um, not necessarily a great just like regular vegan restaurant because the only thing they have is salad stuff and then like baked potatoes. So it's kind of boring if you're used to a more varied vegan diet. But as far as raw stuff, like it's always been great for me. I just get literally everything that is raw. So I get like all the greens and I get, you know, whatever dried fruits they have and I get all the raw veggies and I just make a huge salad out of it and as far as dressing goes they have like a selection of oils and vinegars and usually I wouldn't eat oil and I actually told myself that I was going to bring like tahini or almond butter with me but I just totally blanked and forgot about that but I mixed those two together mixed everything together on my big salad and it was awesome and then they have their little apples and oranges with like the dessert stuff so I had some of that too and then uh, when we got home, as we get like later into the night for like, I didn't have like dinner. Um, I had snacks, snackies, so I had more flackers and I tried a passion fruit, which I've never had one before. And then I actually made a very small smoothie that was going to be my dinner. And it was pretty, it was purple, made out of blueberries and bananas and almond milk and that was it. It was really good, but I definitely poured it all over myself. Like, um, I went to drink it and it didn't have a top of my container and it was like one thick piece just went splat like on my face, in my eyes, all over my clothes. So I didn't get to take a picture of it and I'm sorry about that, but I will say though on the top of eating out as a raw vegan, sometimes you do not get lucky and you do not get a place with a salad bar. So you know that's a whole another discussion if you're not actually able to order at the restaurant it would just be like bringing food with you talking to the restaurant beforehand talking about your dietary limitations or maybe like just eating a bunch before you leave so you're not hungry and then maybe you can just drink and be with who you're with and enjoy the company rather than the food but again it's not for everybody <laughs>